Long enough to cover the subject and short enough to keep it interesting. Welcome to Out of My League. I'm Nick Diaz. For the past 100 years, America has been lying to itself. For the past 100 years, we've been giving ourselves a bunch of bullshit. And the bullshit is concerning college football. And it says, everyone has a chance to win the national championship. We're all competing in the same leagues. No, they don't. No, we're not. And they mostly never have. You know who won, won a bunch of national titles in the 1920s? Alabama did. USC did. Notre Dame did. You know who won a, a bunch of uh, national titles in the 1940s? Michigan did. Notre Dame did. You know who won national titles in the 50s? LSU. Ohio State. UCLA. Auburn and Oklahoma. The only reason why certain schools didn't win national titles and others did over the course of time is because of huge changes like the draft and the military, which no longer exist. Segregation in schools ended. Air conditioning was invented. Population started moving back south. Florida State, a university that has been known as a powerhouse in the past 30, 40 years, well, the reason why it took them so long, up until the 80s or 90s, is because they were a school founded after World War II. Because at the end of the day, it comes down to two things. Money and recruiting. You either have it or you don't. Can someone please explain to me, why in the hell is Vanderbilt in the same conference as Alabama? Why are we wasting our time? Why the hell is Northwestern in the same uh, conference as Ohio State? Why? It's Sure, don't one competitive game every now and again, but why are they in the same conference? Look at them on paper and tell me how that makes any damn sense from academic qualifications to boosters to talent resources in the local high school area. Explain to me how that makes any sense. So Texas and Oklahoma went into the SEC. And everyone's first reaction was, yeah, okay, whatever. Same as Jimbo Fisher's. And I bet they do. Because, look, there were too many roadblocks and too many logistical nightmares for this to happen, right? They want to come to the SEC, but does that mean the SEC wants Texas and Oklahoma? Well, multiple sources are now confirming there is mutual interest, yes. Well, what about the Longhorn Network? I mean... <laughs> Texas is just going to destroy the Longhorn Network? Yes, they are. Sports Illustrated is reporting that Texas has told the Southeastern Conference they will get rid of the Longhorn Network to join the SEC. And that was in plan when they sold Steve Sarkeesian to be their next head coach this past year. Well, hold on. What about the Big 12 TV contracts? All right, Texas and Oklahoma can't go anywhere until 2025. They signed a contract. Yes. And guess what? The Southeastern Conference signed a new deal with Disney to broadcast on ESPN starting in 2024, the year before. It's worth $3 billion. Yeah, so, Nick, the, the SEC can't just scrap a $3 billion contract with Disney to wait for two other schools. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. Because Disney paid them $3 billion. The SEC is just going to tell Disney $3 billion? Give us one more year, one more year, and we will give you not just Houston, but we'll give you Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, San Antonio, El Paso, and Oklahoma City, and we will make that TV deal worth almost twice as much as it is now with the national branding of Texas and Oklahoma. Well, Oklahoma can't leave Oklahoma State. They are joined at the hip per state legislature. They have to play each other. They, they don't have to follow each other in the same conference. That's a myth. I looked it up. They are part of two completely different board of regents and two completely different systems. Laws get passed, but there is no way in hell that Oklahoma State would win that battle in court because they want to play a football game between two uh, individual universities a part of two different systems. There's no way that would realistically hold up in court. Nick, you have to have 11 of the 14 SEC teams to say yes. Texas A&M and Missouri have already come out against this. Okay. That's two. So who are the other two, two teams that would say no? They need two more. Who are the other two teams that would say no? Arkansas 
Where the hell are they going to go? Yeah, but <laughs> but then A and M and Missouri would leave, and then that loses SEC TV money in their markets because they don't they don't want to be in the same conference as Texas and Oklahoma. Okay, and where is Missouri and Texas A and M going to go? Where the hell are they going to go? They're going <laughs> to they're going to go back to the Big Twelve without Texas and Oklahoma. Missouri and A and M would lose money too. They would gain money out of this. The SEC paid forty four million dollars to each school last year. That was during a pandemic. If just Texas, you realize that if just Texas joins the Southeastern Conference, that number could go up past $60 million. Not Texas and Oklahoma, just Texas. That's how big of a brand that is. Nick, other SEC teams would say no because they don't want the competition. It's too many teams, too many competition. It's hard enough to, it is, it is to get to the playoff if you're an SEC team. People, we are about to have a 12-team playoff with at least eight at-large bids. You mean to tell me, in the past five straight years, there have been eight or more SEC teams that are good enough to make the playoffs? But what about recruiting advantages? Uh, Look, teams like Alabama, Auburn, uh, LSU, uh, uh, Georgia, they don't want to deal with the, the, the recruiting disadvantages of adding in Texas and Oklahoma. People, they recruit against Texas and Oklahoma already. They've been recruiting against Texas and Oklahoma their entire lives. In the 1990s, Major Applewhite from Baton Rouge, he went to Texas. In the 1940s, a Texas native, Y.A. Tittle, he was supposed to go to Texas, committed to LSU. Billy Cannon's son, he went to Texas A&M before they were even in the SEC. You want to know why? Because LSU sucked Bo Ryan had just died in a plane crash. In the 1990s, LSU sucked with Curly Holman, and Texas wasn't. Texas was good. If you're good, teams will get their recruits. Alabama is still good now, and Alabama's now having trouble getting recruits from Louisiana. Why? Because Ed Ogeron has his shit together in recruiting, and Les Miles didn't. If you're good, teams will get their recruits. As of today, at 5 p.m. Central... Multiple reports are now confirming the Big 12 athletic directors and CEOs are meeting to discuss the Texas-Oklahoma situation. No one from the Southeastern Conference will deny the reports of Texas and Oklahoma. No one from Texas or Oklahoma will deny the reports. They ask them straight up, can you confirm or deny the reports? They refuse to answer the question. And the biggest cherry on top of all of this This morning, the SEC Network, a TV channel owned and run by the conference and Disney, released a graphic to the public explaining how a 16-team SEC schedule would work if Texas and Oklahoma were to join the conference, even so far as putting their names on the list. And Paul Feinbaum, yesterday, asked the reporter from the Houston Chronicle that broke this story on what he thinks would happen. With it out in the public and there not being any flat denials from anyone, from anyone with the SEC, from anyone from Texas or Oklahoma, things are going to move forward pretty rapidly. In fact, uh, my insider said that there could be an announcement within two weeks in terms of making this a 16-team conference. This isn't done, like done, 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 but it brings up what we should have all been doing all along in college football. Stop trying to tell me athletes shouldn't get paid. Stop telling me it's LSU's job to play Northwestern State or McNeese so they can give them a paycheck and they can keep their little program afloat. It's not LSU's job to do that. Stop telling me there is no advantage at LSU versus Louisiana Tech. Stop telling me Vanderbilt has the same chance at Alabama because they're in the same conference. This could be the beginning of a super league in college football. The beginning of a super league. You could have four mega conferences of 16 or more teams instead of 127 uh, teams competing all for one championship. A league separated from the NCAA. This is what everyone was afraid of, all the the have-nots of college football. When name, image, and likeness came to be, they were saying they're going to secede from the NCAA and all of these big time power conferences and big time programs are going to get together and form their own playoff away from group of five. And this is the beginning of that. A league separated from the NCAA and the rest of college athletics to form their own 
private mega super football conference and play for a 12-team playoff, similar to what they do in the NFL. Say goodbye to Coastal Carolina. Say goodbye to Boise State. Hell, say goodbye to Power 5 teams like Baylor and Iowa State and Texas Tech who don't have the resources but have been Power 5 conferences and we've been bullshitting ourselves this whole time. You are wasting our time. We've been playing this sport for over 150 years and we are sick of the bullshit. We have the evidence. Mega conferences and mega leagues are in. Cinderella never existed. Thanks for listening to Out of My League. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or follow me on Twitter and Facebook in the description link below.